I have to preface matters by saying I'm not trying to vilify Muslims or encourage hatred against Islam. I just want to quote from their own literature. I'm simply going to quote from the Hadith and from the Quran. That's all. I'm quoting from the Hadith and the Quran. But I would like to ask Muslims some questions. I'm simply putting this out as a question. My first question is this. How can you expect anyone, anyone, to believe the following? That somebody was a prophet of God. They are the greatest prophet of God. That there is no prophet greater than they are, and God has had no greater or no higher spokesman than this person. What would you say of somebody who at the age of approximately 53 or 54 married a little girl at the age of six and at the age of nine when she was playing on a swing you come to her give her a glass of milk and take her to your bed and take her virginity. What do we call a 53 or 54 year old man who has sex with a little girl the age of nine? Do we call him a prophet of God? We don't. I'd like to invite my Islamic friends to please explain the following. In the Hadith, Bukhari, volume 5, number 234, narrated by Aisha. Aisha was the daughter of Abu Bakir. Muhammad the prophet was engaged to me when I was a girl six years old. I was playing in a swing with some of my girlfriends. Unexpectedly, Allah's apostle came to me in the afternoon and my mother handed me over to him. At that time, I was a girl of nine years of age. In Bukhari, volume 5, number 236, the prophet married Aisha when she was a girl of six years old and consummated that marriage when she was nine. Islam is a religion that teaches Muhammad was a pedophile. That is what their religion teaches. I, as a Christian, am not calling Muhammad a pedophile. No Jew ever called Muhammad a pedophile. Muslims call Muhammad a pedophile. That is what their religion teaches. This man had sex with Aisha, the daughter of Abu Bakir, when she was a little girl. He was a middle-aged man. Can you please explain to me why, since your religion in the Hadith teaches your prophet was a pedophile, how can you expect any Western person, any Christian, any Jew, anybody to believe that a man who would have sex with a little girl is the greatest prophet. How can we believe such a man was a holy man? Now again, I'm not trying to incite hatred against Muslims. I'm not trying to blaspheme your religion. I'm not trying to insult your prophet. I'm simply saying what your religion teaches. Your religion teaches that this man had sex with a little girl. Can you please explain to me why I should believe a man who had sex with a little girl is God's greatest prophet? I can't find any Muslims who will explain this to me. I've been to the Persian Gulf, I've been to Morocco, I've been to Turkey, I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Malaysia, I've been from one end of the Muslim world to the other. I've talked to Muslims in London and America, I've talked to Muslims a lot of places. Can one of you please tell me how you can believe a man who would do such a thing is the greatest prophet of God and why I should believe he's the greatest prophet of God? Now, what do you want to do? Kill me or kill somebody for quoting from your own book? I didn't write that book. That's your book. It's not my book. I'm simply reading your literature. 
What do you want to do? Hate me for reading your book? I'm only reading your book. It's your book, not mine. Don't hate me. Don't try to kill me for reading your book. You wrote it. I didn't write it. It's not my book. Christians didn't write this. It's your book. What do you want to do? Hate me for writing it? Kill me because I read something in your book? If you find it offensive, why do you believe it? Please answer me the question. If you want to look it up in your book, it's in the Hadith. Berkari, Volume 5, Numbers 234 and 236. Your religion teaches Muhammad had sex with a little girl. 